That's a fall. That collapsed building. We can use it to cross. Hey everyone, I'm Tanya Jessen, producer for Bulletstorm, here uh, talking to you about the Tokyo Game Show playable demo. You can see here it takes place in a collapsed building that's laying on its side and you have to actually traverse it as it's falling apart in order to get to the other side of this huge chasm in the middle of the city. One of the things that we wanted to uh, show off in this build was one of our new weapons called the Bouncer. The Bouncer, which you'll see here, is actually a portable cannonball gun. And the cool thing about it, when you think about the brute force of just launching a cannon, it's really a, it's, it's really kind of basic at its, you know, beginning premise, but the game takes it to the next level where you can even see, you know, you're leashing a guy, pulling down the environment and, and getting different skill shots. And here you see another one of our awesome chain gun encounters. Now, there's a few different ways you can play this out. PCF loves doing, you know, the badass, like, thing that you would never think to do in a game. And so why not call an elevator, kill all the bad guys? I think it could be a little bit more fun than even mowing them down with a chain gun. Killing as an art form. So here we see our bouncer again, and uh, this is actually one of the first weapons that People Can Fly came up with in making Bulletstorm. And it's taken on many different forms over the past few years. At one point, it even lit guys on fire, it uh, exploded shrapnel, and you know, we spent a very long time manipulating you know, the best way to uh, play with this weapon, and I think that we definitely found the bullet storminess of it. And the charge shot for this gun is actually a cannonball that bounces in place that you can also interact with. So once it's bounced once, if you hold down the trigger, it'll continue to bounce, and so you can you know, do that around corners or uh, try to flank the enemy in interesting ways. This was also one of the first levels that we started toying with kicking guys over ledges uh, when, we, when we first prototyped it and, you know, adding the scream as the guys fly down and then that became a core game mechanic where we wanted levels uh, that had a lot of ledges that you could kick guys off of if you so chose. There you can see the bounce of the cannonball gun. It bounces in place multiple times and allows you to kick it and leash it around and get different skill shots. Looks like Big Brother wants his lunch money! And that is our cannoneer, the mini-boss that you meet that uses the bouncer against you. Ugh, bullets aren't doing shit! Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the demo.